I was expecting just solo sword fighter, but I would love to be proven wrong. Alf is the other one. All right, well, it's definitely a solid character. Can't really complain about that. We'll see how Chris manages to do against uh, another Olimar player. There's very few of them on Long Island, too, so that's also something to be cognizant of. And there's very big shoes to fill when it comes to uh, Pikmin play on Long Island, considering uh, the presence of DeBuzz in our scene. Chris seems very selective of how he wants to go in, and I don't know if that's just from matchup and experience, or he's really just opting to give this much respect to, uh, to Nico's elf. Yeah, as far as Pikmin quirks are concerned, uh, Red Pikmin is going to be able to soak up all of these PK fires and not die. Kind of the important note. Although I believe Purple Pikmin can also just like take it because it has the most health out of them. Really clean extension from uh, Chris as well. Jump up and follow the Wing Pikmin right upwards. Kid's movement is looking pristine right now. But a spot dodge up smash brings things back to a fair even game. Now, I know amongst the chaos of doubles, Chris is very much a fan of being able to just put out the forward smash around projectiles, see how it reflects. Uh, but I'm curious to see if he opts for any of that in this matchup as well. As reflected purple Pikmin in particular, hits hard. Really not much else to be said here. It's a lot of just Chris trying to navigate around the map with as many active hitboxes as he can help. And Nico running right into the back air too. Gonna have to be pretty fortunate if he wants to take an early stock. Try and tie things back up as he did previously. And zoning forward with the uh, Pikmin smash attacks, definitely the way to do it. Smash it so wide. Good coverage with the down smash on the back end, actually, able to cover Olimar this time around. The side magnet movement from Chris looking like particularly sharp. And I feel like he needs that in this matchup. Like more so than most. Just because staying mobile. Oh, that is beyond dead. Beyond cooked. You can't even send that back to the kitchen. It's so dead. Oh, no. Ganondorf's coming out. Chris doesn't need respect anymore. Sword Fighter's coming out. Nico's taking his free win. Now, fortunately, I've played a little bit of Sword Fighter in my time, so... I'm aware of what the character's tools can do. And 
I feel like a lot of his combo tools aren't going to be that much of a help against Ganondorf. This is very much the matter of lots of little hits versus the few big hits. Sort of a, I don't know, a pretty typical matchup for Sword Fighter. The Gale Tornado into uh, up B kill confirm going to be super important here. But more so than that, just making use of the zoning tools. All right, there we have it. Pretty standard kill. Nico's just got to make sure that Chris doesn't get any, like, wily hits on him. Like that. There's no reason to approach. But he did. And he ate a forward air for his efforts. Yo, he really short hop warlock punched. Yo, he was really about to do it. <laughs> That's kind of wild. <laughs> See, I don't like how aggressively Nico is zoning right now because he keeps on like, giving so many opportunities for uh, for Chris to just come in and slap him. Yeah, I'll bear's gonna nail that. Oh, well, Chris seems to have figured out the game plan for fighting against Sword Fighter and very much uh, just approach with shield is the way to stave off a lot of this projectile pressure. Chakram is not that great of a projectile. Um, it's like a worse Falco laser, I guess. Or a, a wolf blaster, I guess, would be more accurate. And Gale Tornado, while terrifying, even below uh, obscene percentages like 163. Like, means nothing when it hits shield. All right, even stocks. De far from even percentages, though. 96 on the Sword Fighter. Eh, about two or three stray hits from Ganondorf, and that's a cooked stock. Epic Dorian man strikes again, and that is a very strong 2-0 in favor of Chris. Can we move on through our bracket? And I hope to see as little of this Ganondorf as possible. 